Hey guys, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your New Moon Collective reading. Now keep in mind, it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. Also, I'm going to give you guys a, rem a reminder just in case you haven't seen the you know, readings for all the signs yet. I am doing a discount reading sale today for the new moon. The link is in the description box below. You will click the Etsy link. When you get to my Etsy site, you will find the thumbnail with the dandelion, the white dandelion and blue background. Click it and then select the tab that says new moon. That is the discount reading sale. The sale ends at midnight, my time, and I'm in Chicago, Illinois. So if you would like to participate in that, again, click the link in the description box below. Now, let me tell you guys something before I start this reading. Literally, right before I started the reading, you probably can't see it, but my nail bed is like red as hell. Literally, before I started the reading, I smashed my finger <laughs> in between. It's like a little vowel on the chair that I'm sitting on. I was trying to lift it, and it smashed it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this reading because my fingers, of course, I'm using my hands for the cards. And I mean, when I tell y'all it's throbbing, it is throbbing. It is throbbing. So I wasn't going to do it, but I kept hearing push through it push through the pain. That's what I heard. I literally heard push through the pain. And I'm telling y'all, I'm in pain like this shit hurts. <laughs> but, um, I heard push through the pain. And I feel like that's what a lot of you all have to do at this time. Like Whatever pain you've endured in certain areas in your life, you have to push through it because it's not going to be there forever. Because I know this, this pain, this thriving, is not going to be there forever. It's, it's slowly but surely dissipating. And I feel like that's a message for a lot of you all. And that's something that you guys need to hear for sure. Because baby, the way these fucking fingers are throbbing, it hurts. It hurts. But again, I know it's not going to last forever. So I feel like that's a message for a lot of you guys um, <laughs> today. So when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I heard was When Doves Cry by Prince. Prince was a Gemini. Um, so you could be dealing with Gemini, someone rising Venus individual. You could have strong Gemini placements in your chart. Woo. And um, <laughs> something significant could have happened in Gemini season, which is May, June time frame. That could resonate for some of you all as well. Also, keep in mind, Gemini is ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury talks about communication, mental data, travel, transportation, um, contracts, legalities as well. Okay, it can talk about contractual legalities also. Um, studies, scholarships, you know, things to that nature. Officially, tomorrow we will be in Mercury retrograde. Okay, so let me tell you the part that stood out for me in the song, and I'm not going to say the lyrics on point. I know I'm not, but... You guys get the gist of it. That's why I always share the names of the songs so you can go back and listen to it if you so choose to to see how the messages resonate for you. But there's a part in the song where he says, maybe I'm just like my father, I'm too demanding. Um, or maybe like I'm just like my mother, I'm never satisfied. Something to that nature. Because he mentioned the mother, because he mentioned the father, I feel like for a lot of you all, there's a reference, a strong reference to foundational and environmental um Things that have impacted or infected, of, and I said infected, hmm. So this, there's no such thing as accidents, because I meant to say affected, but I said infected. If there's infestation, that's something that's not healthy, right? So I feel like that's the message, because they mentioned, he mentioned the mother, he mentioned the father. They're saying that there's some traits that you inherited from your upbringing that has an impact on how you see yourself, how you view yourself, how you view the world, how you function in the world. And that needs to be acknowledged. And that slate needs to be wiped clean. And I know that's very, diff very difficult because when we have a foundation, that's what we're used to. A lot of us, we look at our life and we are living the same patterns as our parents. Or even if not both parents, a specific parent that has been very influential to us in our life, we have those same... Um, we have a lot of those same character traits. And so for a lot of y'all, you may realize like, okay, the traits that I've inherited from my parents, they're not the most healthiest and I need to get rid of that in order for me to be a better version of myself. I'm just going to tell you straight up, a lot of you are earth angels. And it's, it's not what it sounds like when you hear people talk about earth angels and things like that, especially in a spiritual community, you think about these godly, and, and it is, we're all of God, right? godly beautiful beings that has these very delicate souls and this this and this and that's true as well and i feel like that's what resonates with the energy of the the dove you know when i said the song that i got was when doves cry it, it's a doves are considered delicate you know and and doves are birds birds are messengers right so you definitely get a message that's time for you to shake some stuff up right but here's the thing also 
a dove is, is is quite peaceful and it's never known to cause chaos and it's never known to step outside of the bounds of whatever doves are supposed to be doing. You're meant to do that. There's There needs to be a shakeup in your life and there's going to be a shakeup. This new moon energy, you guys know the new moon brings things in. The full moon removes things. The full moon can feel like the tower, okay? The new moon can feel like the sun, but it also... In order for new things to come in, it has to endure tower energy as well, right? Because the tower is when things have been built on a faulty foundation. And it's not aligned with you. Either now or anymore. Okay? It's not aligned with you. And you guys are getting ready to go through a tower. And, it, and for a lot of y'all, when you hear a tower, you think it's just the absolute worst thing in the world. It actually is going to be a lifesaver for a lot of y'all because... The song is when it does cry, but then I, your spirit animal is the wolf, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So a wolf and a and a dove is two completely different things. When I'm hearing not just the song and the, and the lyrics in it, I'm, I keep thinking about a dove's cry. When somebody cries out, it's to get attention, it's to draw attention, it's to respond to something. And it, when he's saying it's crying out, it's like, I feel like the universe is calling you into action. A lot of you guys are earth angels and people think about earth angels and they think about these soft, gentle creatures. And that's true. Yes, indeed. But earth angels, if you think about it, like even when you look and read stories in the Bible, the most devoted, most loyal people in the Bible who serve God and never turned their back on God, even when they went through the worst things in the world, those people were earth angels. They were here to, you know, serve humanity. They were here to prove a purpose, and the purpose is to prove that the Most High is real. And they were here to show, like, okay, if you walk in your purpose and you never falter and you never denounce or never rebuke God because you go through horrible things in your life, everything will change. And I, I really get that as a message for a lot of you all. And I, if you ask me, and if you, when you read up on things, angels, people always see angels as these beautiful, graceful creatures. Again, that's very true. But if you think about it, angels, they go through hardships because their job is to serve humanity. And a lot of you all have a purpose that is, is interlinked with serving humanity. And you may just be kind of tiptoeing through it. They're telling you, it's time for you to be like the wolf. It's time for you to be aggressive, assertive. Go to your animal instincts and, and tap into your true purpose. You can be both the wolf and the dove. That's balance. That's equilibrium, right? That's what I'm getting there. Because what I heard was that... You guys have been viewing your life through eyes wide shut. If you think about it, eyes wide shut. That's what I heard very clearly. So if your eyes are shut, how can they be wide? You get what I'm saying? So in other words, like you see what's in front of you. You see what's going on around you, but your eyes are shut to the absolute truth. You guys have been viewing your life through eyes wide shut. You don't even think of yourself as highly as the universe does. You don't. Because the universe knows your purpose. And that's why... I, Again, not everyone watching this is going to be an earth angel, but I'm telling you, for a lot of y'all, you're earth angels, and you've been through some difficult times, and I do feel like it's a time, like, you've been through a lot, you've learned the lessons, you've um, helped others get on their feet, you've helped others with their, their journey, and now you're getting ready to reap the rewards. And that makes me go back to what I was talking about with the whole Bible thing, like, they, those people in those stories went through hell, they went through hardships, famine, uh, what was it, the plague, and all this other stuff, they went through a lot, and they lost a lot. And But because they never gave up and they never lost faith and they never denounced the Most High, guess what? They got they received favor. And a lot of you guys are getting ready to receive your favor. Ooh, baby, when I say these fingers are hurting. Yeah. So, like I said, even if you are hurting, even if you're going through pain, it's not time to give up. You got to keep pushing through it. It's, it's necessary. And you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded for pushing through is what I'm getting here. So... Going into that spirit animal, like I was talking about the wolf, the wolf talks about needing to stand your ground. You've been playing it too safe in life for too long, again, okay? Um, leadership capabilities, and it's also talking about leadership that serves the greater good, power, loyalty, guardianship, teamwork, and being true to your nature. You have to be true to your nature. Again, I'm getting something about... Back to the song where he was talking about the mother and father because that's the part that stood out to me too much. And he didn't talk about it throughout the whole song, but that's the part that stood out, which means that's what Spirit wants me to address. Something about your upbringing or the things that you lacked in your upbringing are affecting your journey right now, but I feel like you're going to be awakened to that. Keep in mind, today is the new moon, but four days from now, we will literally be in that 8-8 Lionsgate portal. You guys know portals are entryways and exits. 
you guys are entering a new chapter in your life and it's, it's a very powerful one we are in all this retrograde we are literally in retrograde season so tomorrow we'll be fully in full throttle into mercury retrograde we're already in saturn pluto and um what is saturn pluto and neptune so you have four big 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 retrogrades that we're in right now so it's like first of all saturn itself that's karma so it's like realizing karmic cycles and the things that you've been doing that have been keeping you stuck. And you're transforming. You are becoming a wolf. You are a hunter of your destiny. You are seeking that path. You're not going to just sit here with your beautiful, elegant wings and fly through life thinking that you're supposed to just deliver messages here and there. No, no, no. You're going to get active. Something is about to be activated in you, and that's what I'm getting, okay? So let's talk about some names. First, middle, last name, street name, business names, put it where it applies. Also, locations, and I have a number for you as well. So, Roger Garcia, Omar, Dwayne, Noreen, Alfred, Judy, Nelson, Crystal, Danielle, Leonard, Phillips, Minnesota, Africa, Nash, and Life Path number seven. So, you could be a Life Path or a personal year number seven. Um, and also with that seven, it's something very significant could happen seven days from now. So within a week's time, there's some type of reality check. You, I mean, you literally could just wake up one day and realize like, oh no, hell no, this, this is, I'm done with this. It's time for to do something new. Cause keep in mind, we're in all this retrograde energy. You have this eight, eight portal. And I have to say this just in case people think a certain way. When we have certain portals, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10, it don't just end. After that day is over, it doesn't just end. It's, it's like you want to keep on, you know, into that next portal. So we have 8-8 eight, eight in the next four days, and then we'll be in that energy until 9-9. Nine, nine. And then we'll be in 9-9's nine, nine energy until 10-10. Ten, ten. Whenever you have those double, those double numbers, guess what? That doubles the influence of the energy surrounding us. Numbers have strong prominence. They have strong purpose. And they have a strong association with things that we are doing and things that we are um, embarking upon as far as our journey. So keep that in mind as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get to um, Major Arcana, the moon, as we are doing a reading for this new moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers. Somebody may have also smashed their fingers in something recently as well, because baby, man, it's getting red about a minute. It's stiff and it's hurting. So be careful out there, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. Knights are either going into battle, coming out of battle, going on some type of journey or adventure. And that's what I'm telling you all. You get ready to go on some type of adventure. And you're needing, like I said, not to be a dove. Because see, that ain't no dove. Look at that bird. That's that's one of those birds that's known for the strength, its courage, very powerful. In the animal kingdom, is known as a predator. A dove is not seen as a predator. This, this here bird right here is known to be a predator. So they're saying you, you're about to gain some bigger wings. In other words, you're about to expand. Your life purpose is, ex is expanding. And then I say, like, don't give up. Keep fighting. That's what a knight does. A knight fights. And they're telling you that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Someone out there watching, you got the first, middle, or last initial of A, E, V, K, S, R, or D. Okay? First, middle, or last initial. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. And we, again, we're going to get the moon. The card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarified. It's kind of hard to shuffle with my fingers like this. But we're going to get these shuffles going. Because I know it's meant for me to do this reading. So let's see what we get today. Some of you guys, if you, don't, if you do sage, you need to sage. Okay? You are needing to sage. I'm just grabbing this. You need to sage. Sage your space. Okay? Because I, I'm for some reason... Yes, the sage is there, but I'm smelling it really strong like it's burning. And I don't have anything burning, but some of you guys are needing to sage your home, sage your space. And that's a big thing, especially during these certain um, moon cycles, the new moon, full moon. Like cleansing your space really good so you can allow um, negative energetic debris to leave your energy and allow the flow of positive energy. A lot of times, it's, it's the time for you guys to boss up. Major Arcana, the Emperor, Aries energy. And it's time for you guys to boss up. You see how he has his hatchet right here? He has a scroll, which is his game plan. I feel like for a lot of you all, again, you've been playing it too safe. You do not, you absolutely don't see yourself the way that the most high in the universe sees you. You don't. I keep hearing, seeing you see the world, you see your life through eyes wide shut. That's very interesting. I believe it's a movie like that, right? I've, I've never seen it, but eyes wide shut. And you see how he's looking at us. It's like, do you see? Do you see the, the grander scheme of things? There's so much that's available to you. I'm just looking at how there's a city behind him and the city is gold. 
there's so much be available to you but it's, it's going to regard or it's going to require for you to step out of the box you got to boss up and I feel like that's what's going to happen I feel like a lot of you guys you're going to just wake up one day and just realize like it's time for you to boss up it's time for something new I'm not meant to be in this position it's time for me to have some type of shift in perspective so let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana again that is the moon and there you go very quickly so we didn't even get that far that's why i know for a lot of y'all there's going to be some type of change in perspective there's going to be an energetic shift that's going to come for a lot of you all within the next week literally within the next week okay so right in front of you you have the two of cups now this could definitely be as far as love relationships but this ain't what i'm really getting i'm not really getting love stuff what i'm getting is like working together and coming into contact with people who are just like you Okay, like-minded people. This this card even gives me like an angelic type of presence. For some of you guys, you're going to be meeting people in your tribe. You have the moon. And then behind that, you have the magician. Then I say, you guys are manifesting. It's the time. The time right now is it's happening. It's happening for you guys. And manifestation, positive manifestation, like I said, this new moon is what you want to call in. They're telling you use every single tool that you have available to you. All of your gifts, all of your abilities, use it so you can manifest what it is that you want. Oh, my God. See, this is why I knew it was meant for me to do this reading. What did I, what, what did I keep saying? I said, you got to see in the world through eyes wide shut. We don't know if our eyes are open behind those wings. And didn't I say the song that I got was when doves cry, cry? Those could be like dove wings. We don't know. And if you see how the swords are down, that's inactivity. If it was upright, that's like being active, putting, getting ready to put something into motion and action. For a lot of you guys, you are literally, like I said, seeing the world through eyes wide shut. Her eyes are covered by wings. The song that we got was When Doves Cry. That's what I'm saying. They're saying, they're telling you right now, like, you are so tuned in, but you're unaware of how tuned in you are. Like, you are... I'm going to say it again, some of you guys are earth angels, and you don't even see that, and you just, so you don't see your purpose. All you see is a struggle and a strife. Because I, I honestly believe, like, people, the spirits, the spirit realm, the entities and spirits on the other side, our guardians, our spirit guides, and things like that, they battle nonstop. And they, they, they go through battles and try to protect us and shield us from things that we don't see. So I don't think they ever really get a break, if you will. Like, that's their job, to be of service to us. And I feel like for a lot of you all, you went through hardships because you just been, it's predestined for you to take care of those around you. And you feel like you never get anything out of it, but you're constantly taking care of others and you never see that in return. But you're getting ready to see it. You've manifested that. Um, this is also an energy of like reciprocity. So you're receiving what you've been given because that rainbow is going into both cups. You're receiving what you've been given. Whatever you've been given out, you're, you're about to receive it also. I like this energy. Again, Virgo, Gemini. Remember I said the singer Prince, formerly known as Prince. He was a Gemini. You got Gemini right there in Virgo. I like that. That's 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 a positive sign for us here. Ten of Swords, absolutely. Being stabbed in the back and let down, betrayed. Feeling like the weight of the world is all over you. Like you just can't win. Dark night of the soul. But as heavy as this card is, tens also talk about those cycles ending, those cycles being done. You're on, you're on the final leg of that tour, okay? That's over for you. You're coming out of that. Somebody's birthday could be on the 10th. Something very significant could happen August 10th also. Something that some of you guys have been working on is manifesting. It's, it's coming into your life. So let's part the deck. Yep, look at all this energy. All this heaviness. That's exactly what I was getting. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior, felt like I will never, ever get what it is I want. I'm just constantly being betrayed. I'm constantly being beat down. I feel like, you know, what is life doing? What is life doing to me? That's what a lot of you all are feeling. But I want you guys to notice the cards here. Look, nothing here is negative. Everything here is quite positive. That's a major arcana, so that's definite. And this is a sign that you definitely are going to get back what you've been given. Like I said, I'm not getting love-based energy off of this, which even though it's a very typical card that is associated with love, mm -mm, I'm getting more so getting back what you give. So let's go ahead and shuffle. I want to get a clarifier for that two of cups as well as that magician reaping what you sow but in a positive way i just heard that you're reaping what you sow all your hard work i keep some of you guys and you guys know it well if you're new to the channel you don't know i'm not 
I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I believe in everything and all when it comes to God. I don't feel like you can put God in a box. That's not me. I feel like I trust in God's word. That's it. I have a relationship with God that, you know, we all have our own relationship with God. So I don't, I don't concern myself with religion and titles and things like that. So I don't get into all that, but I do read the Bible and I do read certain things. I don't read it religiously because, again, I'm not religious. But I, I am hearing that for some of you all out there, somebody needs to read the Bible. Because there, I feel like there's a specific message for you. Here's the thing that I'm hearing. I'm hearing, like, just get a Bible and just open it to whatever page. And whatever page you open it to, not even, without even trying, without even thinking, without even having any specific intentions, just open that book and whatever passage is right there, that's what Spirit wants you to read. That's the message they have for you. I'm hearing that very clearly. Okay? So you have the Four of Pentacles. Uh, right? That's holding on for dear life, but in reverse, it's releasing. And that's what I was saying. A lot of you guys need to release foundational. The Pentacles is about your foundation. Foundational thought processes, foundational beliefs, foundational and inherited characters and tra character traits. You need to release that. Because it's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you from having your glory. It's keeping you from, you know, being connected to your soul tribe also because you see he's outside and the city is way behind him. So he's not a part of that. He's not surrounded by people who are like him. You know, that's the energy that you have right here. And it's like, uh, right, he's holding on to that regardless of how it's detaching him and keeping him from his goals or keeping him from his abundance. He's like, okay, I'm, a, I'm just going to stick with these four pinnacles here. When he actually has the whole world. So his, you know, devices, he can have whatever he wants to, he or she, put it where it applies in your situation. You got to release those outdated thoughts. That's what I'm getting here. Let's get a clarifier for this two of cups, universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Okay. Yeah. One that flipped up, right? Mm-hmm. Time to start new. And there's no time better than now. We are in Leo season. You got Leo Sage Aries here with the Page of Wands. Pages are messengers. I, I'm going to say again, I feel like a lot of you guys are getting downloads. You are getting downloads right now. That's letting you know it's time for you to start something new. It's time for something else to blossom. You see how he has that wand there and his budding leaves? Absolutely. You're needing to start something new. Now, also, like I said, I'm not getting romance out of this. Yes, this is seen as a romantic card, but I'm not getting romance from this. You know what I'm getting from this? For some of y'all, there's going to be communication, like telepathic communication between you and your spirit guide. That's what I'm getting. Because this is messages also. There's going to be messages between you're going to be highly and divinely connected. Because I want you to repeat this also. You got that glow right between where their third eye would be. And then there's a glow right over his crown chakra. Your third eye, your crown, that's where you can get a lot of spiritual downloads, get a lot of messages here. And I've been saying in the past couple of readings, and even yesterday, I was getting, when I was doing personal readings and things like that, I was getting this loud, piercing white noise in my ear, you know. And that is always like spirit, like connecting with you and you're, you're getting down, you're shifting. You're getting transmitted energies like you're you're going into a different. I don't want to say a different dimension because that sounds a bit all over the place. But your frequency, that's what it is. Your frequency is changing, and your frequency is heightening. And you know, and that's what's happening right now with all this energy, this cosmic energy. This is a big, ooh, this is a big cosmic time for a lot of us. And I've I, I've been feeling that over the past couple of days, and the downloads that I've been getting have been so powerful, especially even in my personal readings. Like I'm literally getting like when I'm having to give messages to people, I'm getting people's actual legit full names, and like first, if it's not the exact full name, it's like the very distinctive name that only this person that I'm doing a reading for would get and know who this person is. And that's because like I'm I'm getting more and more connected to my intuition, more and more connected with my eye chakra, you know, my eye chakra, my third eye chakra opening even more and crown chakra evolving. A lot of you guys have evolution coming in and it's going to be to the point where you're actually going to be able to hear very clearly the messages from your spirit guides and your guardians, very clearly. And you won't question it. You'll be very confident because if you look at him, he even looks like he's very confident. He knows that he's able to manifest whatever it is he wants. You guys are going to have a, a very strong confidence. It's not even going to be subtle. It's going to be very strong confidence in the messages and downloads that you get, you won't doubt it, you won't question it. You're just going to act on it because he's getting ready to put action into something because wants is action. Bottom of the deck, you got the seven of pentacles, not moving forward, but not moving backwards. With this, especially with the messages I was getting earlier on, it's like you guys have, you see how he's raked up all these leaves? It's like he's put in a lot of work, but then when it comes to him, he doesn't see anything evolve and it looks like things are drab and dying out and he doesn't get the benefits. Pay attention. 
Pay attention to what's right in front of you. It's right at his feet. Again, this is making me feel like, like I said, a lot of you all have everything already in your possession that you need to manifest what you want, but you're you're too focused on the things that didn't work out for you, all the things that happened to you in the past, and that doesn't matter. Yes, it's, it held its purpose, but it doesn't matter. Let's also talk about you got the Seven of Pentacles again. I, I was talking about that Seven earlier, right? Within a week's time, a lot of you guys, you know, I feel like the universe is going to let like, literally drop something in your lap that will change your monetary life. I, and I mean, seriously, something's going to just be placed right in your lap, right there for you, right for the taking is what I'm getting. So let's get a clarifier for the magician. Universe, oh, oh, oh. Okay, you see how they flipped up? I'm taking them. Did I say you guys are going on a spiritual journey? The hermit, seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. You guys have been on the journey for a while, and you are about to get some blessings from it. In his lantern, there's a star. You see that shape of a star? A star's wish fulfillment healing. Mm -hmm. So the, a lot of healing is happening. And for a lot of you all also, if you're, because when you go through spiritual journeys and you go through these hardships, we, a lot of us cry out like the song, when doves cry, you cry out like, God, why, you know, when is anything good going to happen for me? When is it going to be my time? I feel like for a lot of you all, if you've been asking, it's definitely going to be Virgo season. You have two major arcanas and you guys know majors are definite. You have two major arcanas that is associated with Virgo. Gemini Virgo and Virgo. So Virgo season is August, September. So I'm going to tell y'all something that's not too far from now. And you guys are watching me shuffle. You know, there are reversals here, right? There are reversals, but every single card you have here is upright. And I always tell people when the cards are upright, whether it's challenging or positive, that means things are in alignment. It's going in the direction it's meant to go in. When you have cards that are in reverse, either something is ending or something needs to be adjusted or something needs to be addressed so that things can go in the proper direction. Every single card is upright, so you guys are on the right path. That's absolutely what's happening. You're not listening to your intuition. You don't trust your intuition with the high priestess in reverse. Someone's first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, P, R, W. Someone can have a um, Gemini rising. Um, also, you could be a life path number 11 or a life path number 2. I'm definitely hearing JT. Somebody's nickname is JT. Um, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is about, you know, having a very established home, building things. There's a family structure here. And this you have a person watching from behind the scenes, and it's one, two, three Pentacles and an upside-down home. So it, it could be like there was interference in your life. And, and I just feel like something happened where, and it doesn't have to be love-related stuff. It could just be like the interference could be, you know, something would work because you have pentacles here. That's that's money. It could be something would work like there's a loss of a job or unhappiness in your in your job. And if you feel extremely unhappy to the point where it's like every single day you're thinking about leaving, they're telling you that you're starting a journey. This new moon is invoking a start, a spark of light to make you want to go towards that light, that journey. Because see, he's he's following that light because that light is going to show him the path in front of him. This new moon for a lot of you all is making you go on a spiritual journey. For some of you all, you may feel like you want to pull away from others. You want to just, you know, be alone a lot of the time. And I, I feel like I've been through that for a while. But, not in a, you know, it's not in a bad way. Like, you don't want to be around people. You can't stand people. It's nothing like that. It's just more so like you feel like I'm, I'm working on me. And right now my focus needs to be on me. Yeah, I can connect with my family and friends whenever. But right now, I need to have tunnel vision because this is like having tunnel vision on a specific outcome or goal or trying to find things out so that you can move forward and advance in life. And that's what a lot of you all are dealing with. Your last two cards are major arcana, so they're telling you that this is a major shift for you. That it, Like ending this whole spread, you're going through a major shift, and that's exactly what this new moon energy is bringing in. This is, again, it's making me think about the doggone Bible. Like, I can't remember what verse it or what story it was about but it's like someone needing to go into isolation in order to hear god clearly again it doesn't say quit your job stop talking to people who just cut everyone off it's just like the main focus needs to be on your goal right now a lot of you all have been going on a journey for a while and it feels like you've been alone and you've been dealing with life uh, like just by yourself even without the assistance of your spirit guides and guardians you feel like the universe has forgotten about you and it's not true your path has always been lit but here's the thing. <laughs> this goes back to what I was saying with the eyes wide shut. Check, check me out. He has his lantern up so he can see what's in front of him, but yet he's looking down with his eyes closed. That's eyes wide shut. 
So you got your lantern lit so you can see what's in front of you, but you're looking down and your eyes are closed. That's exactly what I was saying from the beginning. You have been walking through life. Did I not say? You've been viewing life through eyes wide shut. Just, just going on some type of journey. And everything has always been at your possession. Everything that you needed. You know what I'm getting also? And I was reading this even in my own life path, in my, my, my natal chart. You guys need to look at your natal chart also, okay? Some people are late bloomers. Like, you just go through all these tasks and all these things and all these trials and tribulations in life. And it just feels like, okay, is this going to be my whole life? Am I ever going to have joy and happiness? You go through all these things. But then at the latter part of your life, it's literally like the, the road has been paved in gold for you so you can move forward. And it just seems like things just flow to you very easily. It's because you've literally been through a lot. And now you have every single tool available to you because you've been on that journey. You've been on that venture for a long time. And so now things are getting ready to play out and you're getting ready to have harmony in your life. And regardless of your age, when I say the latter part, you know, for all of us, we, we feel like at our age, it's like, oh, I keep aging. I'm getting, you know, I'm not getting any younger. What's going to happen? Things like that. Regardless of your age, you could be 29, okay? You could be 31. You could be 51. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It just seems like you've been through the journey. Now you're manifesting. Right now, you feel like you're going to feel a strong need to get something started. Again, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you are an earth angel. Which means you live this physical existence. You live a life just like, you know, you, you have that essence. You are a human. But you also have an essence and you have a life purpose bestowed upon you where you have a higher vibration than others. And, and when you come into contact with them, you shift their life immensely. And you may feel drained by that. You may feel like everybody else is getting, you know, what they want out of life with me. Um, you're getting ready to get it. Because you know what I'm getting? You have to do your due diligence. As earth angels, that's what I said. They're all about purpose. They're, their goal, they were created by the most high to protect, shield, heal, work for, on behalf of us as far as humanity. And so you have to do your due diligence. You have to go through that journey. You had to go through that journey. You're coming out of it. Now you're getting ready to manifest. You are in a state of manifestation and you don't even know it. Because guess what? You are walking through life. Through eyes wide shut. He literally has a lantern up like, okay, I want to see my hopes and wishes fulfilled. Star, hopes and wishes but he's looking down, his eyes are closed. That's that's exactly what I was getting. You guys see me do all this shuffling, so there's no way I could have known that we were going to get that card. You already had two swords where she had the wings over her eyes. And then you literally have um, the hermit here who has his lantern lit so he can see, but his eyes are closed and his gaze is to the ground. So it's like like I said earlier, you don't, you don't think as highly of yourself as the universe does because he's looking down. His gait is declined, not inclined. You know how they say hold your head high? That's not what he's doing. He is, though. And you see how I picked that up? And he's going right in the direction of the magician. You guys are in manifestation mode. Absolutely. And I love that for us. I'm going to say us. Because I, I can feel it in my own life. And I claim that for every single one of you watching. Okay? So, again, thank you guys so much for watching Queen Arabin Otero. Don't forget the discount reading sale ends at midnight. The link is in the description box below. It will be the Etsy link. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.